Hey, this is Sarge here at Sea Fort Defense, and today we're going to go over another one in yet my ever going list of EDCs that I test out my Glock 45 MOS. We're not going to go over the stock one, we're going to go over it the way I've been carrying it. So let's get some on steel. See if we can get that little one. Got it. Now my Glock 45 MOS 9mm comes standard with a 17 round magazine. Of course there are optional um, 19, 24, 31, 33 round mags. They've got a bunch of different options. It has a 4.02 inch barrel, uh, weighs roughly 21.73 ounces. When it's unloaded you throw a magazine in it, it weighs 24 and a half and it weighs a little over 30 ounces when it's fully loaded. It has an overall length of 7.44 inches. The slide length is 7.85. The width is 1.34, and that's because of the ambidextrous safety. Adds a little bit of width to it. The slide's about one inch wide, and the overall height, including the magazine, 5.47 and the line of sight in between the sights is 6.1 inches. There you go, standard Gen 5. Now, what I've done with mine, of course, I run the medium back strap. That's one of the add-ons that I've done. I put the Ameriglow tall suppressor height sights. Now, I've started running the, the black rear sight, and I don't know if you can see it right here, but the, the night sight, this one is orange, uh, yellow in the front, and then, of course, it has the Hollow Sun 508T on it. With this 508T, of course it's got the solar panel on it, and this one's titanium, weighs a little bit less, probably a little bit more rugged, thanks to Glintech Arms for hooking me up on this one. Um, does a great job. I don't know if you can see it, but it does have the, I run the circle dot on it right now. I've been experimenting with this and some other dots right now, but I'm, I'm very fond of this one. I've added a TLR1 HL light to it, and if anyone hasn't run the HL, it is, amazingly brighter. It is not only a brighter beam, but it's a bigger beam. So I'd highly suggest that. And like I said, typical Gen 5 stuff. It's got the safe action trigger. Mag release is, is ambidextrous. And of course, what one thing I do like on the Gen 5s is if they have added the front slide serrations, which I do like. Um, I, I don't have enough good things to say about this. I, I love this gun. So let's go ahead and try it out and see if we can hit some more steel with it. Now, like I said, I've been experimenting with carrying this gun EDC, and uh, it's it's only it's only a little bigger than the 19. I, I had to get it because my hand's just a, a little bigger, and the 19 was just a little bit short. So I guess you could say this gun fits my hand better than the 19 does, but. And if you'll notice, we've, uh, we've improved the range just a little bit, thanks to the patrons. And we, uh, we're going to try a few different things. So, And also, if you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe, share it out, give us a like. If you have anything you don't like, give us a comment. So let's see if we can dump, we'll go ahead and holster it. Let's see if we can dump 17 onto the new static target from 10 yards and, and see how well this one holds a pattern. But... I think that was all of them on there. This thing, of course, you could tighten them up if you wanted to. Um, this gun, it's, it does everything like a 17 does, just a little bit shorter barrel. Does everything a 19 does, just it, it, the grip is two, it holds two more rounds. It's just a little bit longer. I can get my whole hand on it instead of just part of it. So this, I love this thing. Um, Hollow Sun 507, uh, 508T is a big improvement. Uh, of course, you can shoot it just fine with, with iron sights. These things are, are good to go. So there, there you go. Glock 45 MOS with a Holosun 508T on it. See you on the range.